Good morning. Welcome to getting my life back together in November. Is that what we're gonna call it? Um, today's the 1st of November. I had a dreadful month of October, which maybe I'll just, this, it, you know, nothing major happened really, but it was just a really, really bad time. So I've decided to have a very like disciplined and productive November. That's what we're doing. I'm doing Ploiting two week shred. I have a lot of job stuff to do, needlepoint stuff to do, YouTube stuff to do. So we're gonna get to that. First thing on the agenda is actually I need to switch my bed sheets. So, and then after that, I'm going to get ready to film this headband, which maybe I'll talk about later. But that video I think is going up first, so I'll link it in the cards. But um, yeah, let's get to being productive. Also, yes, I look like a baby lion. I just woke up. The rest of my room is still a total mess, but we have new sheets on the bed. You can't really tell. It's a navy gingham. It's nice. It's just a bit dark because I have like kind of dark pink walls. Um, so I usually go with white, but it's going to be too much of a rush to try and wash and dry them today because it's cold and wet so they wouldn't dry super well. I'm just gonna get dressed, kinda wait till my brother is out of the shower so I can, you know, skincare, makeup, etc. And uh, try and set up somewhere to film because I don't want to film here. So somewhere else in this room to try and film that headband video. I don't really know if I like need lots of stuff for it. I think I'm gonna have to have two setups anyways, like me talking head situation and then um some shots my desk because it's like a tutorial so i'll talk about that as i said when i'm filming that but for now i need to go pick out an outfit maybe something that kind of goes with the headband so it's cute do you ever put on makeup and realize you're an entirely different person i got ready uh sorry the heater is still on um i'm gonna film now in a couple minutes i think i'm gonna take pictures before that stuck because I want to have some for like my needle point Instagram for my regular Instagram and um, for the thumbnail and stuff oh this one should come out easier oh yeah there we go but I also need to like get my hair situated that's always a situation with Ruby hair it looks really dark behind me but it's just because it's a super dreary day outside um, I have kind of a setup I need to take stuff off the wall though because I have a certificate there that I want to take down. Um, it's just my certificate. I just don't know how easy it's going to come off. Um, it's a certificate of appreciation, which is my official. I did an internship with the United Nations and all I got was this lousy certificate. Certificate. Um, but no, it, I talked about it so many times. It was a wonderful experience, but pay your interns. Anyways. I'm going to film this video now. Um, I haven't really talked about exactly what it is, but the other day, I so over the last like maybe three weeks, I'd been working on a little like experiment project. If you don't know, I needlepoint, and I wear a lot of headbands. So a needlepointed headband was obviously like right at the forefront of my mind. So I decided to make my own. It was kind of inspired by one I was seeing from J Crew. It looks nothing like it, but that's what was one of the things that really drove me to make it. Um, even though I had thought about it a lot before, but to go for like a wool look. So let me just grab it. So this is what it turned, it's brighter over this side. This is what it turned out like. I think it looks really cute. Um, it's like a gingham, but I was just doing it like messing around. It's only like a hairband from ASOS that's covered. And then like I made everything else and I posted it on Instagram, on my needlepoint Instagram, which is very chill. Follow me on AMK Needlepoint. And I was like, I was lying in bed and I was like, oh yeah, I'll post pictures of this. It's really cute. And then I, wo I like put up two pictures of it because it was finished mostly. I just didn't put the ribbon in the inside. And I was like, voila, it's done. How fun. I woke up the next morning 
and I just looked at my phone and I was like, huh? I had like over 20 messages. I don't have that many followers on that account, but loads of people saying how much they liked it and asking for a tutorial. So you bet yourself I'm gonna make a tutorial. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'll hopefully have that up this week and this video will go up next week. But you know, it's nice when people are like asking for something and I'm like, I can deliver this. So I'm gonna do that now. I might, it's kind of confusing, I might need to get like shots down looking at my desk, but I'll figure it out. Hopefully it works out. And the battery's flashing, so I'm gonna charge this camera in the meantime. I am just now realizing that every clip I filmed today was me in this room, but it's much later now. I filmed the video. I haven't looked at the footage yet. I really hope it worked out fine because I do not wanna refilm that, but my headband is so cute. Uh, I tried to take some pictures for Instagram and stuff like that and um, then from there I was pretty much just working on my resume and looking for jobs and they, they always get you, they get you. You think you're, you're, you know, you could be in with a teeny, 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 tiny chance. And then it's like fluency in Arabic required. So also the thing is, so my second language that I've learned, obviously I have like a small bit of Irish, but not that much, um, is German, which is kind of frustrating. And I'm considering trying to really go intense and learn another language. The two, okay, so there are like three main ones and I have reasons for all of them. Um, but, you know, besides that, like my one of my friends who, you know, from my degree, she's raised bilingual and she thinks I should just really have German as a fluency, but I just don't know how helpful that's gonna be for like my long-term goals. I think maybe long-term it might be better for me to pick up another language. No real luck on the job front. Um, my resume isn't even finished, but I think I said this before, a lot of the stuff I apply to, like because it's all like government and international organizations and stuff like that, it's not resume stuff. It's like you fill in lots of stuff in a portal so um i've been doing that but and then looking at people who have the job that i've applied for and realizing i am not qualified really but we can always hope um right now i'm just gonna stitch an ornament so um it's really great because i she doesn't like she's not on social media the friend that I'm stitching this for so you can just see it's backwards for me but um there's a little J on that I'm using if you're a needle pointer I'm using the Abigail Cecile charts so I'm gonna do that and that's also part of needle point club for November the theme is florals so I'm doing that and I'm gonna be doing it for another friend as well I think and I bought um Appleton's cruel wool which I haven't stitched like wool on 18 count before but I'm gonna do that um if you're not a stitcher that probably just went whoosh, so yeah, that's what's happening right now. That was kind of what I wanted to get done today. It's not easy right now, I'm gonna be honest. The construction is happening again. I'm gonna try and find refuge in another part of the house because it is way too loud in here. Hopefully you can hear me a little bit better down the center of the house. Um, but yeah, the construction is in full force today, so that's great. Um, the dog is here, and she's unhappy, but I'm gonna give her a little haircut. So I got cut off, and then this was, the radio is being super loud. And so is the construction, but I have to give the dog like a little haircut around her face later. Um, so I'll show you how I do that. And um, I'm just gonna try and do more resume work and maybe start editing yesterday's video so maybe that's a good one because i can put in some headphones yeah it's gonna be a noisy day monday's not exactly being going as productively as planned the construction is so loud it just paused for a second but it is honestly head wrecking so speckles and i can't see her taking refuge down here. I was looking for jobs um, because I didn't say this earlier, but I was trying to fall asleep and I just couldn't. Like I was just absolutely wired. So I like kind of got up again at about half one. I was awake till maybe three, like looking for jobs and stuff like that. I'm just gonna kind of 
not take it easy today but I'm gonna work out later um but I'm gonna work on this little project for a while maybe watch some YouTube but not much is happening I also need to give Sparkles a haircut but it's been rain it's still raining it's been raining all day so I can't go outside to do that but maybe it'll stop in a few minutes and we'll do that it's haircut time for Madame the bed and she's wet so this is Sparkles I'm gonna just trim around her eyes um if she looks a bit bedraggled should I say um she's 14 and she has a skin condition so don't at her um she can't really see because of the hair is like she's had surgery on her eye and they had to like move it down like move the skin down so it's like more hairy than her regular eyelid we don't want it turning into her eye she can't go to the groomer because we're on a level five lockdown here in ireland again and um like to be fair she can't really see anyways <laughs> she has cataracts but i'm gonna show you how i do this so i am not a dog groomer <laughs> your close-up sparkles oh and i know she has like stuff on her eyes but i'm gonna really gently just trim upwards like this and try and not get it on your sweat pants Like, am I doing kind of a hack job? Yeah. Will she be able to see better afterwards? Also, yeah. So it's fine. Look, burners, look, burners. look at the people. There you go. Clear, not clear. So, how riveting. Fan is super loud. Sorry, not sorry. It's so much later now. It's like midnight or so. I'm just about to go to bed. I worked out, had a shower wearing my stupid Singapore voting t-shirt that makes no sense. Basically what I did after cutting the dog's hair, because that's a normal thing to do, was I was needlepointing a lot because I'm trying to get stuff finished for Christmas because I need to like stitch it and then like block them and finish them into ornaments and then like give them to people slash like post them out. So I'm really trying to do it, but I'll show you what I did. I know this isn't really a, I know this isn't a needlepoint channel but um you probably can't see it very well there'll be insta photos on instagram at amk needle point if you're interested but it's a little cottage and it's modeled I said this before on my friend's grandma's cottage her old home she lives in a different home now but that's why i thought i would do that and it would be cute pretty uneventful evening just stitching and stitching and then working out and showering and that's literally it tomorrow it's supposed to not rain as much um also, I don't know what's happening to my face over here. I don't know if it's because it's getting colder or what. Um, but I'm actually going to wear like real clothes, not sweatpants and a big sweatshirt. And I'm hopefully going to post some of the stuff that I have to post. And I have to take a picture, as I said, for the application and do that application and everything like that. So I didn't say also my mount board arrived. So I can finally finish those ornaments. Um, which is, it's not a fun time, but it has to be done and they look so cute when they are done. So I'm gonna turn in for the night and tomorrow's another day. Happy Tuesday. I still haven't put any makeup on yet, but I wore an actual sweater today. I got this for my birthday. It's cute and jeans and Sparkles is taking a nap. It's loud. She, I make my bed and then she does this because she wants to make it comfortable for herself but I'm just gonna take all of my I have like packages, planner, everything, and bring that downstairs in my little needle point basket. It's like four, three, four p.m. now, and I'm back with my big old basket of stuff. I actually went into town, but I forgot my camera, the dog is crying because she thinks it's dinner time, because uh, it's getting dark, but went into town, had to get a few bits, but didn't forgot my camera number one i also had to post two packages but also it was raining the whole time so i didn't take out my camera i'm gonna finish editing the video i also just remembered i didn't take the photos i need for that application so i'm gonna do that now i'm gonna head upstairs and get some more jobs done and hopefully i had forgotten about this application but hopefully i'll get that done too quick update because i'm at a stoplight but change of plan I was going to take those photos and they weren't working out at home because we 
literally have no white walls in our house. So, and the creams are all too dark. I'm gonna see and hope that the photo booth for taking those things at the supermarket is still open, even in Corona times. So, I'm on my way there. Well, that is so annoying. I don't know, the system was updating or some shit like that. I don't know, that thing is broken pretty often, but I'm gonna have to wait another day. So I'm home now. So that's really annoying. I've gotta just let it go, but it's really frustrating. Um, so I need to figure that out tomorrow, I guess. I need to find a wall that looks whiter in even brighter light. It's cause it's, it's not that late, but it's, um, it's not late at all, <laughs> but it is getting dark outside. So, and it's also like, also like it never, it didn't really ever get like bright today. It's one of those days. So, um, the dog is mad because she wants her dinner. I might give it to her. I also want my dinner. I want freaking pizza. I'm just in such a bad mood now. The last couple of hours. I want pizza for dinner. I won't be eating pizza for dinner. And yeah, just, you know what part of the problem is? These jeans are so uncomfortable. So maybe I will switch out of them. I don't know. But maybe I'll find myself a snack. Do you want a snack too? Yeah, I might give her her dinner and then make myself something to eat. Just a blessed day. I did get those two things posted. So I should feel better about that. But I don't. We're back in the fleece. As I said, I have enough of today. So I switched out of my sweater, which is really cute. And it's really comfortable. And my jeans were just... It was just not a good time. So um, I knocked off a lot of things from my to-do list today. Um, just not everything I wanted. Sometimes things just don't work out. So the thing is to try and keep the ball rolling. As I said, I'm gonna try and have a really good and productive month of November. I also don't think I mentioned uh, this morning, I thought I saw there was like a job listing. Um, I've almost, exclusive yeah i have exclusively been looking for jobs in europe um because i'm european uh, it just makes the most sense and kind of avoiding the uk for brexit reasons just makes things more confusing you know and you don't know how to explain things without like giving away all the details but i follow specific things on linkedin and one of them advertised a position that I was absolutely like I was overqualified for but I thought it could be a potential in into the industry that I really want to work in and I was so excited I was reading the whole ad I was like absolutely all there I knew I'd be really good at it like I was I was all about it and then I realized that there were visa requirements that I didn't meet so because it was in the US and I hadn't been looking for jobs in the US for that reason, but I thought because of what it was, giving lots of stuff away, but I thought it would have been like part of the deal. But no, apparently not. You have to be a US citizen or hold a green card, neither of which I have. So we're back to Europe and not being able to speak any of the languages that they require. So that is it for these productive days of my life trying to be productive and just kind of getting slapped in the face a lot of the time not physically but just by life so i'm gonna check off my to-do list in my planner start working on tomorrow's because tomorrow is a new day um i'm gonna probably try and get those photos again so it is also this is um it's like 6 p.m now yeah um it is US election night. We're obviously like hours and hours behind here, but I'm gonna light a candle and say a prayer that Joe Biden is elected. Um, because need I say more, really? Like, <laughs> you know why? But it kind of made me laugh when I was thinking of it. My mom went to like secretarial school, it was a thing. <laughs> back in the day and um, she had a teacher who was quite religious from what I can understand but I, you know I don't think she was a nun I think she was just religious and when someone was late from lunch she used to make them like, do things they didn't want one of them was 
um, pray for the conversion of Russia. This is, I think, in the 1980s. And, um, I, you know, it always makes me laugh. Like, this teacher, she's like, we're gonna, girls, we're going to pray for the conversion of Russia. Um, I kind of feel like that right now with the United States. But, yeah, by the time this video is live, we'll know where things stand. So, thanks for watching this video. If you got the whole way through it, I actually have no idea how long it's going to be. Cause I feel like I filmed quite a few clips. Sorry if it was boring. My life is pretty boring right now. Um, I am going to be posting every Wednesday for at least the month of November. And then we're going to reevaluate and see what the plan is for December. I might do weekly or I might do more than that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on Instagram at Animated by Design. But that's it for now.